Hi everybody! Welcome to Daddy's Toy Kingdom. Today we're going to talk about an awesome coding robot, Robo Wonderkind. This amazing robot comes in three different models. It comes in the starter kit, the education kit, and the advanced upgrade. Today we're going to talk about the education kit. Let's take a look at this robot. It comes with several pieces that each serve a different function based on their color. Are you guys ready to open the box and meet Robo Wonderkin? Yeah! Awesome! Okay, we'll take our sleeve right here. Wow! Here's all the pieces of Robo Wonderkin. We've got our instruction manual stickers. We've got our distance sensor, connector block, two DC motors, a servo motor, the main block that has the speakers in it, and the battery. Two big wheels, two small wheels, and we've got the wire connectors. A box of uh, green connectors and Lego adapters. And one small wheel. Let's take the robot out of the box and we'll download the two apps that you can use to interact with Robo Wonderkin. Robo Live and Robo Code. Now I'm going to show you how to build a basic robot using the Robo Live app and our pieces. First, you'll take the main block, the orange one. This is the piece with the battery, and it controls all the other blocks in the set. We'll set it to the on position, and it will connect to your RoboLive app, just like that. First, we'll take one of these DC motors. We'll put in one of these green connectors. This will keep the electronic pieces connected with the circuit here. Pop that in. And when you connect it to the main block, like this. The motor will show up on the Robo Live app. We'll connect the other piece here using one of these green connectors. Face it opposite the rotating side. So now, connect it here. And now we have two motors connected to the main piece. Now we need to connect the wheels. So we will put the wheel on this side right here. We'll connect the large wheel to the other side. And voila, we have our two large wheels connected. Now all we need is to put this small wheel in the front. This piece does not have electronics, so it is completely controlled by these two main motors. Now that we've built our basic robot with two big wheels and a small wheel, we'll take our little Lego adapter and put a Lego guy along for the ride. Now we'll focus on the Robo Live app to remote control our robot. You guys ready? Let's do this. Now, as you saw, when we put the pieces in, the control showed up. So now there are three ways to control your robot. The first is individual wheels. There's motor one. There's motor two. And if we do it at the same time, Can make him go back, forward, turn. There's also a joystick where you control both wheels at the same time. Okay. The third and coolest is the gyroscope. When you pick up your iPad and hold the tilt control, you can actually control it by rotating your iPad or your tablet. That's pretty awesome. You guys like this robot? Yeah. This is Robo Wonderkind. Would, would you like to try it? Yeah. <laughs> I think he wants to test you. Really? Well, he needs a distance sensor to do that. Let's make this robot a little bit more complex. Okay, we've added a few more blocks to our Robo Wonderkin here. We've got the servo motor that will rotate the head, and my favorite, the RGB LED light. We can turn to several different colors. Hey Robo, take a look at me. Hi there! Huh? <laughs> Say hi! Hello. Hi! Once you've activated your RoboCode app, 
it'll take you to the home screen. And if you want to start a coding project, you'll touch the red button to take yourself to the coding lab. Touch the new project button to go to the coding field. All the icons at the bottom correspond to different commands. And just like in RoboLive, all the different colors correspond to the different colored blocks and all the different features that the robot has. If you want to make the robot go forward, you're going to have to go to these DC motors by touching the blue arrow. And we will put an arrow to make it go forward. Let's make it go forward 50. And as simple as that, we have a one command code. Hit the play button, and off it goes. Oh, nice. Was that cool? Okay, I put in as many of the features on the robot as I could on this one. First, we're going to have the lights turn on after you push the button. This red button means it'll start when you click it. We're going to have it go forward, turn to the right, use the distance sensor to stop it 100 centimeters from a wall, spin in a circle, and then go backwards. We did it all using this command. Jeremy, would you mind pressing the play button on the robot? So that's how easy it is to program your Robo Wonder Kid. You just use the color coded blocks and you send your robot on the way. This is the Robo Wonderkin. This amazing new robotic set is the easy way to teach your child how to program and do coding. It interacts with your iPad and takes robotics to a whole new level. I recommend you picking this up. Thank you very much, Robo Wonderkin, for sending us the education kit. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.